try to be. I try to be, man. I try to be. But no, I, I, I'm having a good time with everything, but I got to get back to work pretty soon here. I mean, like, uh, now it's like, it's pretty much this whole thing's like full-time job now. I'm um, doing interviews. I just did an interview for a Reality Remix with Kennedy. How lucky we are to get you. No, no, I don't, I'm lucky being your presence, actually. Abu Dhabi Charles champion, man. Woo! <laughs> That's some hardcore shit. Yeah, well, there's no Abu Dhabi yeah. reality show. <laughs> more importantly, she's the Abu Dhabi trials champion that is Asian. That's more important. If she was Brazilian, we wouldn't be this close to be more. Since so she's Asian, we're right it's here. It's okay, man. and I get to like... Okay, why don't you put your hand down a little bit deeper? Like, like... <laughs> hey, you can't do that, man. You can't do that. Look at, look at the chest hair. Unless you're my baby's mama, you can't show touch the, Show like the that. chest hair. I have one chest hair. Show your chest hair. The chest hair? Yeah, the chest hair. <laughs> no. Now that you're mocking me, no, I don't want to. But, uh, but yeah, you know, like, uh, yeah, you know, it was a great experience. Watch the show, man. You guys will love it. And honestly, man, like I said, I'm, I'm not kidding about this. I, man, this is the best season since season one. The fights are unreal. Um, you know, Dana put it on us the first day. He was like, hey, man, you know, everybody's been wanting lightweights, saying we want lightweights. Um, if you guys want lightweights to come back, then you got to show it. And, like, you know, the fights are great. A lot of good drama. I get, you know, like, you know, I... I now, Can you I tell us anything about the coaches? Um, coaches, the BJ Penn is a bad motherfucker. Jens Pulver is a bad motherfucker. And, uh, you know, it was an honor just meeting both of them. That was great. Did you work with both of them? Or yeah, you know, because the first couple days, you got to work with both. You know, they, they, they uh, want to see what you got. So I, I met both of them, and they're unreal. I knew BJ previously from Hawaii, you know what I mean? So, like, it was cool. I was getting a roll with them, training with them more than just once in a while. And it was great, man. But same thing with Jens, man. You trained with both of them? Yeah, I got a chance to train both. Everybody did. Everybody had a chance to train both of them. And BJ's jiu-jitsu is just, man, like, I mean, the only way I can ex explain it is BJ's jiu-jitsu. Everybody asks me about BJ's jiu-jitsu. I'll say it like this. There's black belts, and then there's black belts. Like, you know, just like there's NBA players, and then there's, like, you know, the, the LeBron James, the Mike Jordan. Like, BJ Penn, his jiu-jitsu is, like, like, unlike anything I've ever seen, man. So it was an honor to uh, learn from him, train with him. It was cool. And uh, overall, like I said, man, I think, like I said, you guys watch the show, you, you'll like it, man. And, uh, you know, like, the main thing was is uh, the fights are good, you know. It's cool if you have a good drama, whatever, but watch the fights, man. The fights are unbelievable, unbelievable. Especially when we start fighting for the use of the kitchen. Start getting crazy. When people start putting their hands on my soy milk. You got soy milk? I'm lactose intolerant. Do they, do they only have soy milk for you? No. Nah. Well, you order your food you want. So I would order soy milk, and people would take it. Did you have to drop weight? Are you trying to say I'm not slim? I'm just asking what weight were you at going in and what weight were you fighting at and how was it living in the house with people trying to cut weight? Well, actually, yeah, because I normally uh, walk around about 180, so on the show I had to get down 163 walking around weight. So I was on, the whole time I was on the show, I was about 163 pounds, so I could cut to 155, because you got to be ready yeah, on And then the camera adds 10 pounds. Oh, yeah, man, you know it. But, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was an experience. But the main thing, it was, it was made me a lot more mentally strong when you have to, again, eat and live and you know you're sleeping in the same room with you know guys that you're going to possibly be fighting yeah it adds a degree of uh, com a complexity to it but did, you, did you have any friends coming out of it like did you become friends with people that you didn't know before um you know what i like to think i made a lot of friends over there but yeah i got closer obviously a couple more people like joe lays like man he bailed me out a couple times like he was there for me um you know there's a lot of guys Corey hill a lot of those guys like we had a great time but joe lays we got along really good my, my roommates were Joe Lazon from Boston, Alan, uh, Alan Baruch from uh, Florida, and uh, Robert Emerson from Orange County. They had a great time, man. It was a great time. But I was the only Wang on the show. Are you Wang or Wong? It depends on if you're a girl or a guy. If you're a girl, I'm a Wong. Big Dong Wong. Come on, man. You know the legend. It's almost like like one of the words like in a Latin language like where there's a feminine and a masculine. So depending on that's you're talking right. to a woman L or, or La, yeah, your, that's it. Your name changes. Uh, you got it. So you know, Wong sounds a little bit more sexy, but Wang sounds a little bit more me. On the show, they're like, you know, what's your Andy Wang? Fool. Girl comes up to me, saying, Wow, that's wrong. <laughs> Ride the schlong, long, dong. You know, they all kind of go together. <laughs> Did you do anything? If, girl, if there's any girls watching this, I'm really not like this. I'm actually, she's bringing out the bad in me. All right. I'm actually a gentleman. And he's a very nice man. But Felicia, she don't like gentlemen. She likes, you know, the rough road character. So So you play that for me? Yeah, I'm playing it for you. I, I'm Wong now, you know, like Wong and Wang mix. You know what I mean? 
So did you do anything embarrassing on the show? I can't talk about that. Uh, you'll have to watch to see that. But yeah, I, I'm known to uh, have foul mouth at, at uh, <laughs> normal intervals. I'm known to uh, get caught. Wait, wait. Drama, did but... you did you drive the sensors? Did you keep the sensors busier than anyone else on the show? No, no. Actually, I, I try to behave myself, knowing that my parents will be watching this someday. I try to behave myself. That means I know there's a story that you probably didn't tell because there's a story that you tell that you can't tell without curse words. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to tell a complete story without bad words. And, yeah. But uh, yeah, I try and keep it cool, you know, like I wanted uh, plus like so I'm a teacher and you know a lot of kids are gonna be watching the show, it's really popular. Yeah, and I wanna be a good role model for them, you know. It's like, you know, like and that's be honest, like I cuss a lot around my friends just because you know my, my friends are scumbags, but you know, my kids are not, my students are not scumbags, so I like to uh, you know be a good example for them. Do you have a special bond with Rich Franklin? Because you're both school teachers. <laughs> There is, uh, I, if I ever, re yeah, no, there is no bond between me and Rich Franklin. I've never met the guy, but I definitely admire what he's done. But uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, you know, like. T Maybe your kids could fight with his kids. <laughs> we'll have an all out battle royale in the sixth grade uh, playground. Rich Franklin's kids gets mine. My kids are from South LA, though, man. I think my kids got the edge, man. I, I think so. His kids might have the edge being in Cincinnati. His kids might have the edge in the reading and writing. But when it comes out of straight ass kicking, you know what's up. Ultimate fighter, sixth grader. <laughs> Tough sixth grader. Yeah, graders. Be it, man. It won't be weight classes, it'll be age groups, nine and under. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, no, I, I, I can't talk too much about the show. That's about as much as I can talk about. Like, there's plenty of good drama. Though. I'll say that. A lot of good action. A lot of good action. And, and are you part of that? Yeah, I get, I get. Are my, you an instigator? No, I'm not. You know, I'm not that kind of guy, man. I'm, uh, you know, I, I try to get along with everybody. No, I try to get along with everybody. You know, what I mean, I, I, my main goal in life is have fun, make a lot of friends. You know, that's most important to me. Um, you know, like that. That was my attitude on the show. I didn't want to do anything. I, I don't already do. And so I went there with the idea that, yeah, I'm about to fight these dudes, but that doesn't mean we can be friends before and after the show, you know? And again, not everybody went there the same imagine Some guys were there to, like, you know, try to prove something, whatever. Like, for me, like I said, man, I, I know what I can do. Anybody that steps in the cage with me, like, they're going to know what's up. They're going to know my name. We lose a draw, like, no, nobody, nobody's ever stepped in a cage or crossed the map for me and forgotten my name, you know what I mean? So I'm not worried about that. I don't have to act scary, you know what I mean? Like, I know what I'm going to do when I get in the cage. So... Andy, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you, guys. And seriously, I want to thank everybody that's helped me along the way, man. Like Sponsors? Oh, Howard Combat Kimono, Foot Kai, uh, Yamato Damashi Gear, Purebred Goods. Um, but you know what? Seriously, thanks. I don't, You know what I mean? Thanks to everybody. All you guys, you guys know me for years and years and years. And um, like I said, man, like, watch the show. I hope you guys um, I hope you guys support me and what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be the best fighter I can be. And, um, you know, like... Seriously, I just want to thank all you guys that have helped me in the South Beach just scene for the last 10 years, man. Like, you know, this is my home. You know what I mean? This, this, this is why I train full time, man. So let's do it together, man. I want to help you guys. You guys help me, man. So thank you again for watching. Thank you, Felicia. And thanks all the guys for uh, making Jiu Jitsu what it is. Thanks, Andy. How come I never get invited to your mom's restaurant? Because, man, our Chinese food is for white people. It's not for Asian people. That's okay. <laughs> I got to go. One of my guys going up. Peace out. Have a good night.